There you are. Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European really got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have to have a lot of protection. Hey, no one let them get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very steep woman. <laughs> Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, can my friend. Have his son. Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linden. You tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute.
What the hell? All right, let's go. Yeah. Hey. Wait. What the hell? This some damn birds. Come on. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Keep looking. Shush. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. My friend died. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. Be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time.
Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. We'll have to stick to the side. I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, did you see where we're at once we got Jack? Come on, Arthur. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. But a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mom! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I 
I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. 